researchers at Harvard actually found a way to alter the amount of an enzyme called telomer... Okay, I looked this up, I swear. Uh, an enzyme called telomerase. Okay. Telomerase. Telomerase. Okay. So uh, this enzyme, telomerase, is uh, something that protects DNA, right? And it also has to do with how fast or how slow you age. So the more of this enzyme you have on your DNA, uh, the slower you age. The less of the enzyme you have, the faster you age. And they found this out by uh, testing it on mice, okay? So uh, first of all, they had mice, uh, they altered the amount of the enzyme in the mice, and uh, they made it less, so the mice died within six months. However, they also bred more mice, and they increased the amount of this enzyme in them, and they actually reversed when it came to aging. Okay, so to give you an example, it, uh, they regained their fertility. They were sprouting new neurons in their brains. Oh, over. Okay. End of this. Uh, as soon as I read it, I was like, oh, geez and Lord mercy, here we go. Okay, more miraculous breakthroughs. Okay, so the mice, in, es in essence, got younger. They got younger, yes. Okay. With telomerase. Okay, so then I was like, oh boy, there is going to be a gigantic industry around this. No, as there should be. <laughs> no, no, no. As soon as, hold on, <laughs> let, me, let me clarify that. Because already, first of all, th these are very important studies, right? They've done it on mice, and that means that with more testing, more testing, pretty soon they could find a way to transfer this information to humans, right? right. However, they haven't done that yet, and already people are trying to capitalize on this information. Uh, of course. So first of all, to give you a sense of the study, it's in Nature magazine and uh, done by Harvard University uh, researchers, and so and Nature is a very uh, well-respected uh, outlet, so this is incredibly real. Now, of course, just because it's in mice doesn't mean that it's in humans, and it's going to take years and years to figure out how it works in humans, and of course it has downsides, which we'll get to in a second, uh, but that's not stopping anybody. It turns out there's a plant in Mongolia called astragalus, okay? There's going to be a huge market in astragalus now. It is apparently filled with telomerase. Right. Uh, apparently it could activate telomerase that's already in your body. Oh, that's much more accurate, sorry, yes. And so, it's over. <laughs> there's going to be a run on Mongolia. In fact, there's now a 20% chance we will invade Mongolia. We, the liberation of Mongolia has begun. <laughs> so, um, now, the downside. It turns out if you uh, increase the number of telomerase in your body, or activate it more, mm -hmm. uh, you could cause cancer. So, shwang, wang, wang. But you'll look younger. <laughs> while you have the cancer. <laughs> I, and ironically, you'll live less time, not more time. Okay, of course, there's always a downside to this. But, you know, if they study it for a long period of time, which of course they will, they might be able to figure out a way to limit that downside.